Considering how tiny Slovenia is, it was a surprise to see their national team overcome real powerhouse teams in Eurobasket 2017 to take home the championship. In case you're wondering, Slovenia is wedged in between Croatia, Hungary, Austria and Italy, and despite its size, has sent a number of players to the NBA. None better than Goran Dragic. He's certainly no stranger to NBA fans, as he's shown spectacular potential throughout his journey across four different teams. And he did his best to carry his home country across the finish line to the title. He averaged 22.6 points, 5.1 assists, and 4.4 rebounds, controlling most of the possessions he was in, and lifting Slovenia to a huge win in convincing fashion over the favored Spanish team in the semifinals. So let's break down the footage to see how Dragic imposed his will on these games and why the defense had so much trouble stopping him. The pick and roll was his main mode of attack, and I really like how Slovenia gets him off ball for some movement first before running it. I like this handoff into step up screen, and while the defense did a nice job zoning this up, Dragic would time and again create a shot out of nothing. What makes him so hard to defend is his unpredictability. He'll reject the screen often, and then use his Euro step to get into your body to create enough space to finish at the basket. He's also got an old school mid-range game, where he would snake the dribble, get the big man retreating, and pull up for an open 15 footer. And most of his buckets were tough shots, with the defense right there. But Dragic didn't seem to mind when pulling up from the mid-range. More great movement, they set a pin down into handoff into pick and roll, and while the defense played this very well, he creates yet another shot out of thin air from deep. Again, great movement with the weave on the right side to loosen up the defense before kicking it out top for the Vidmar screen. And if you let him go left, you're in trouble. Another example of him using a stuttered 1-2 to throw the defense off and get more separation. He also knows all the tricks of the trade, like putting your defender in jail once he's on your back. Here, putting Ricky Rubio in the torture chamber. In isolation, he would also put his defender in jail, and he could keep the defense off balance with his rhythm and unorthodox shots. When they needed a bucket, they'd isolate him out top, and he is great at getting deep penetration, then stopping to let the defender fly by, before rising up into the old school pull-up jumper from in the lane. Without question, a lost art. The other area where Dragic couldn't be stopped was in transition, where his coast-to-coast -coast forays got in buckets as he has really good speed with the dribble, and once he gets going downhill, the bigs will be no match for his Euro-stepping off but finishes soft off the glass. And this is old news for us NBA fans, as he's been treating us to these types of finishes for years and years on NBA courts. Of course, if you're in Miami, you're going to want to go see the new look Heat play, and there's no better way to get tickets to any NBA game than with SeatGeek. Head over to Waiters Island and see how the backcourt of Dragic and Waiters can make life hell for their opponents by using SeatGeek's awesome app that not only lets you see the vantage point from the seat, but also grades the price to get you the best value. Their tickets are completely guaranteed to any sporting or concert event, so download their app today and you'll get great seats at affordable prices with just a couple of taps. Best of all, use my code BBALL and get 20 bucks off your first purchase. So what are you waiting for? Oh yeah, the end of the video. Once it's over, get to the App Store, download SeatGeek, so we can get back to how the defense deals with Dragic. All the focus on Dragic's scoring opens up assists for him as well, and check the great handoff into step up screen for the wraparound bounce pass to the roller. While that was a gorgeous and slightly fancy pass, most of his assists are very utilitarian. Drive, suck the defense in, and make the easy pass to the open man for the shot. As the defense shifts over to contain his threat on the pick and roll, he patiently reads what's open, the look to the roll man sucks the help down another step, and then finds the shooter on the weak side for the hop into a nice looking triple. This is a good time to introduce the potential number one pick in next year's draft, Luka Doncic, who fed off all the attention on Dragic to find lots of room to spot up in similar fashion for good looks from downtown. The Itch brothers seem to be on their own wavelength, 
and Dragic had a knack of finding him for slick passes and easy buckets. This kind of pass off the pick and roll is developed after playing enough games together and knowing where each guy will be, as Dragic hooks it to Doncic for the check the wind I'm so wide open 3. While Doncic's numbers didn't jump off the page for the tournament, when watching these clips you have to remember he's only 18 years old, yet look at the cojones on this guy as he isos into a step back 3 in poor Zingis' face. And off the pick and roll, he had several high level difficulty three balls that make NBA GMs start to rub their hands together and pray to the basketball lottery gods. It's rare to see an 18 year old have such command over the possession, probing the defense, then backing it out rather than force something. And when the ball screen does come, his 6'7 height allows him to see over the defense to make gorgeous skip passes for open three balls. The kind of shots that, if he can generate them in the NBA, will make him one of the most valuable big guards of his class. And he also has nice touch on the roll man passes, knowing exactly when to release the ball and how to get it there so the big man can catch it cleanly and finish strong at the rim. Again, this kind of recognition from an 18 year old is extremely rare. So there you have it sports fans, the Slovenian national team is in good hands as Dragic will slowly pass the torch to Doncic for him to lead the team alongside Klemen Prepolic as they continue to make noise throughout the national team tournaments going forward. Sports fans, to see more of our great NBA content and analysis, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also click the bell and adjust your settings so you can get an alert the second our videos drop, because trust me, you're going to want them hot and fresh. You in?